Good morning, CDT day 137. I'll just give you a view of the camp I had last night. Kind of in this, uh, I guess you can call it a saddle. That is where I'm headed in, in uh, well, pretty much right now. Got a camp all packed up. And this is the saddle. Just uh, the wind is coming over from there towards me, so just kind of got behind some trees here. And uh, had a good night. It was pretty quiet. Um, pretty calm. I didn't put the rain fly on because I didn't want condensation to build up and get everything wet, but then the morning dew got everything wet, so I just can't escape getting all my crap wet. But um, I'm all packed up. Came from this way yesterday. I have a beautiful view of the giant moon last night and all the mountains out there. Um, what else do we have? Oh, water. Um, remember I was telling you guys yesterday, uh, it was a very dry stretch. And since I didn't make it to Stemple Pass, where I think there's a water source nearby, um, I still have to get there. So I have this much water left. Um, maybe 700 milliliters, somewhere in that range. So I'm hoping that this will get me about the uh, seven, I believe it's about seven miles to Stemple Pass from here. And uh, hopefully there's a water source there. If not, Stemple Pass is where I start my... Uh, personal water alternate that I use and it could be a couple miles to get downhill but um, eventually I'll be hitting a river. It is 9 a.m. on Friday September 13th. Ooh, Friday the 13th. Yikes. I better be careful out here. Get to town before dark before anything weird happens. An old abandoned cabin, pretty cool. Definitely can't use that as shelter anymore. Whole roof is blown out of that puppy. Oh, is this another one? Yeah, I think it is. It's another cabin in here, same thing. Abandoned, destroyed, no roof on it. Um, I also saw an old trestle back there, so I don't know if it was, this is probably a mining area as most places along the Continental Divide are. So, that's pretty cool to see. Ooh, and this might be where the, the potential water source is as well. Yeah, it's dry just like I thought. There's a couple puddles here if I need it, but uh, I don't actually really need it, so it should be good for the moment. But you know, this is why you pay attention to water sources and you don't trust potential ones, because if I was relying on getting here, I'd be, well, I wouldn't be screwed because of those puddles, but still, I'd, you know, be drinking mud water. All right. Made it to Stemple Pass, coming down that road. And uh, there's a privy here, which I'm going to visit immediately. Uh, some benches, and even picnic tables and a barbecue grill. Kind of random, but uh, really cool. Just left Stemple Pass after about a one hour break. Did some relaxing, enjoying the uh, warmth of the sun, because having some chilly days, it's nice to feel that. Regardless, I'm just about to leave the CDT to begin my water alternate, and I'll be getting uh, back on the CDT in about I think 40 miles, so sometime tomorrow or the next day. Um, yeah, so I'll be leaving pretty soon. I think I just have one little 300 foot climb, and then the rest is downhill to the highway where I can hitch into Lincoln in a little less than 10 miles from now. So I'm hoping to reach the road around 3 p.m. if I can. Well, less than a mile in, and my water alternate is already paying off. It's not the biggest stream, just a little trickle, but it's enough to collect and get what looks like this is a 700 mil bottle and it'll fill up in about 20 seconds so it's not a very long wait time at all well that was very nice um even got to have some snacks um, i was supposed to have my snack break at the uh stemple pass but i was worried that the saltiness of the snacks would just make me crave water more and i didn't want to run the risk of that until I knew I had a source. So finding the source was great. I drank about a liter of water 
had a couple of snacks and now I got a liter and a half in my uh, backpack there Ooh, right there ready to go to take me the final I think it's like nine miles to the road possibly a little less but I'll say nine miles for now so a liter and a half after drinking a liter is more than enough to get that far a couple interesting things that I just thought of all at the same time well um, I looked down and just saw a uh, footprint from an ultra shoe they're pretty obvious the, the shoe print looks like a little foot with toes um, so you can always spot it and pretty much the only people that would be out here wearing tr those types of trail runners are CDT hikers so I don't believe I am the only one to have taken this uh, water alternate so I'm sure there's others it just makes sense you know shorter quicker gets into town a day early and uh, has water sources so you're not putting yourself in danger um, another thing is that um, I'm gonna reach 2,000 miles today so that's pretty cool yeah I'm I should be at like 2,500 compared to other through hikers but you know we all hike this particular trail differently so I'm just excited to be reaching a pretty cool milestone like that and uh, there's a third thing of course I forgot <laughs> Ah yes, the third thing is I only have two weeks left on trail starting today because today is September 13th and my finish date is planning to be the 27th so that two slice can pick me up from the border. Um, so I'm trying to make that a hard date and uh, that means it's exactly two weeks from today. So it's uh, starting to get down to the wire, definitely starting to get close to the end of this hike. Only about 300 miles left. and. Um, so we're getting there. I mean, Lincoln, Montana, when I get there in a couple hours, I have two towns left, East Glacier and Many Glacier. That's it for the rest of the trail. So only two more towns. It's uh, getting pretty crazy. good to see flowing water around. Definitely makes me feel much better. <laughs> Almost to the highway too. Just made it to the highway. Not too much action coming the way I wanted to. But uh I hold out hope. I'm only 0 for 1 right now, so hope is still high. Oh, I got a huge shocker for you guys. No one's picking me up. So, um, I know that tomorrow I was going to have to walk down this road about 2 miles to get to the road that connects. So, I'm just going to do that now. Just get out of the way. Walk out some of my frustrations. <laughs> yeah. Can't be too upset. I got really easy hitches into and out of Helena, so... I guess it's time to pay for one. Finally made it into Lincoln after about 2 hours and 15 minutes of hitching, which again is my average, so I guess not too bad. But uh, some guys finally picked me up as they were leaving the uh, side road to the campground and dropped me off by the uh, grocery store. So. I just got some groceries. Um, I don't know if I mentioned before, but my resupply I got in Helena. I wasn't sure how much to get because I didn't have my new phone yet. So I accidentally bought like five days worth of food and this section only ended up being about two. So I have tons of food in my bag. So this is just a supplement for the extra two days um, for a total of a seven day stretch coming up tomorrow. So, um, didn't have to buy too much, which is cool. 
and I should be able to show you my resupply once I get into camp. There's a park in town that does campsites for like five bucks and they have showers and bathrooms and picnic tables, stuff like that. So that is where I'm headed now to check that out. I haven't seen any hikers yet, but they could be around. I'm just trying to catch a mild buzz. Um, I, I usually only ever drink socially. That's why, like, I've been drinking a lot in these videos, um, mostly because I'm just hanging out with Jesus, having a good time, or, you know, other hikers. I am alone right now, and I pretty much never drink alone, but I just got this one uh, Steel Reserve Hard Pineapple. It's a little 8% can for 3 bucks, just so I can catch a little buzz and, you know, like, relax a bit. Uh, hitching always gets me a little riled up because I, I don't like it, but... Um, yeah, just catch a little buzz and then uh, go over, get some dinner, get a shower in, get my stuff charged, and I'll be feeling good tonight. I might even, might even have a fire if I can find some wood relatively easily. I don't want to spend too much time or effort on it. But we'll see. This little guy does not like me being in his house, and he has a lot to say about it. What's that? Yeah. He's, he, he's squeaking like crazy, he's throwing stuff at me. So I might just switch my campsite just so that he doesn't come in and try to raid my food stash tonight. Well, you are an aggressive one, aren't ya? This steel reserve may have given me a little more of a buzz than I originally anticipated. So, let's go with the heart to heart, huh? Well, um, I feel so proud of myself for being the most humble person that anybody has ever met. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, no, I'm pretty excited because I hit 2,000 miles today. Um, I was on the move and really uh, working because I only took one break on that 17-mile uh, stretch to get to the highway and now a 19-mile stretch to finish that. Um, I just didn't stop to put that little, you know, the, the usual through hiker thing where you put the little 2000 on the ground and sticks and take a picture next to it. I'll probably still do it, but you know, maybe over here or something, even though it's uh, quite a bit further away. But uh, yeah, hit 2000 miles today, and I think I have around 300 to go. This next section is going to be a doozy because it is about 180 miles in between uh, towns, so. Uh, it's going to be a long section. It's going to be a pretty dead section in terms of um, cell signal and stuff like that, I'm sure. Hey, listen to this guy. Freaking squirrel. Take it easy. I'm trying to make a video here. Ugh, some, some people, some squirrels. Um, in other news, my shoe is in pretty bad condition, I just noticed. I kicked a rock earlier today, and I think it split my shoe open. I'll show you. This is my right shoe. And I got this bad boy hanging out from the side of my shoe. But also, I've got the the side of the big toe and the front of the big toe are all lost. So this, you see that? Yeah, that's not good. <clears throat> For those of you that are um, keeping pretty good track of my videos, you'll um, know that these are the shoes I got from Leadville, Colorado in a hiker box for free pretty awesome. So my first pair of shoes lasted me all the way to Leadville, Colorado, and then these hiker box shoes lasted me to uh, just shy of here. The, I'm going to keep going with them because I doubt there's any shoe stores in Lincoln, Montana, so I think I'm probably just going to take these puppies all the way to the border, but it might be a rough 300 miles if this last little section um, right about here doesn't keep up and last as long as I wanted to. But. Yeah, just keep walking and keep an eye on it. If not, I have duct tape as a backup, so we can get seriously hiker trash. But, um, I'm not even done with this steel reserve yet. Do you see how I'm acting? It's insane. Um, I feel like I'm drinking a little too much to be alone right now. <laughs> um, alright, yeah, definitely should go eat dinner, definitely should plug in my stuff and, like, do something. So, I'm gonna go do that. But that's, uh, all I want to know about today is two thousand miles I've hit and I'm I'm pretty darn excited about it. Damn phone died while I was in the middle of doing stuff but um you're looking currently across the street at the pit stop which is where excuse me I just went for dinner had a double cheeseburger and curly fries and then I took a, a thing of cheesy breadsticks to go little did I know this thing of cheesy breadsticks was gonna be a like a medium cheese pizza with like garlic and olive oil on it and it comes with four cups of blue cheese so 
And now I'm feeling uncomfortably full, which is perfect. I'm just hanging on the pavilion right now because this is where I can charge my electronics. GPS is fully charged, so I just switched it over for the external battery, which will be going all night. And then my phone is up to about 55%, but I'm probably going to take it in my tent with me so I can, uh, you know, use it. And then hopefully in the early morning I get up for a pee break or something and plug it in. And then, you know, spend part of the morning just getting breakfast, but trying to get out pretty early, like before 10 hopefully. So then I'll have everything charged and ready to go for this long section that is already going to be taxing on my battery. So um, I met Pabst. Pabst is in town today. He was actually just hitching out when I met him. So um, he's just a little ahead of me. And then he said he talked to Jesus this morning. So Jesus was here today and uh, hitched out and apparently he hitched into town from a pass that is earlier than most people do so I'm actually closer to him than I thought so with this alternate I'm doing I might be able to catch up if not possibly be ahead of them I mean I don't want to actually no I wouldn't be ahead of Jesus because he's left this morning but I should be right around Paps area so I might be able to hike with Paps on this section a little bit potentially Jesus if he goes into Augusta and um, some of these other hikers, like the hikers I met in Helena, apparently were with Jesus last night as well. So um, a lot of hikers in the area. Should be able to meet with them. There's also a lot of deer in this park right now, which is pretty cool. I can walk right by them, just almost petting distance, and they don't give a crap. I moved my tent so that I would not anger that uh, very aggressive red squirrel. <laughs> and uh, I think that's it. I'm not going to shower tonight because I don't have a towel and don't really feel like being wet out here when it's already chilly and that's totally fine because i i mean i'm not clean but like i feel fine i'm i'm not sure if people who hike know what i'm talking about but like i didn't sweat too much or at least you know when i was sweating it evaporated quickly in the cold and then so i just don't feel grimy greasy dirty anything like that usual stuff so just feel fine so i am skipping laundry and shower and by the time i get into east glacier i'm definitely going to take a zero or a long nero and do all those chores but for here it's enough to just do my resupply have a place to sleep and charge up my electronics for this next section so i'm getting pumped to go out there and head into the uh, the Bob, the Bob Marshall Wilderness, and uh, to hit one of the biggest, or the biggest section on trail, and then also be able to knock out those miles before um, Canada. We're just about 300 miles away now, so it's, this um, next section will be more than half of that. So by the time I get to East Glacier, I'm going to be in pretty good shape. 120 miles, 100 miles, something like that to go, so it'll be great. All right, for now, I am going to um, keep this charging, head back to bed, and um, just hang out and uh, eat the rest of these cheese sticks. So there's uh, nothing left for today, so uh, I'm calling it a day. And Oh, stats. Um, today I did 19 miles and did about four, no, 3,000 feet of climbing. So um, a more mellow day than yesterday for sure. But uh, definitely got some miles in, which is pretty cool. So 19 into town is admirable as far as I'm concerned. So pretty nice. So other than that, day's over. I will talk to you guys in the morning. Thanks for watching.